Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hey, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say it. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Bill? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I gotta be. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. luck, Vito. Well, how'd you make out? Uh, things got out of hand. There's nothing I could do about it. We had an agreement. Remember? You only get a third of the money if there's any shooting. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date. And that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait. If you can get them to the gas station attendance by midnight, they'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. Now get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get. <laughs> hey, look who's here. <laughs> Where the hell you been? Playing around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. When Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I <laughs> heard you didn't score too big last night. It wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. Alright, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? See you in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? Some kind of fucking charity here? Do it now. Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight in jewels. Plus uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store is in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why does everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, Vito. This is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. Salute. 
You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I... I uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well... Somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. I'm out. See you later. Good luck, pal. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, we buy your ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up, so he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. Alright, showtime. They got guns up there in that window! <laughs>
<laughs> Don't kill me! Please! I got a wife! You should have thought about your wife I, I, before. You know what? Just don't kill me! Oh, for Christ's sake! <laughs> Don Clemente sends his regards. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck you! Oh, sorry, you... <laughs> Henry, you okay? Right. Where'd he hit? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it's bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a... Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay, you idiot. Get easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the oh, car. Come oh, on, You're heavier than you look. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, oh, fuck. You all Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, but he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, handle it. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know, this could've waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me in my place. Please. All right. Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Everything all right, baby? This is Freddy's. It's Joe. Henry there. Hey, Joe. Nah, Henry ain't here. Shit. But Luca's looking for you. Hold on a sec. Pavero, where the hell are you? I'm home. Listen, Fido just got pinched. That's why I... Already? Shit. All right, shut your mouth and listen. You remember that thing that Vito did with the gas stands, right? We just heard that somebody decided to squeal. Who was it? Some guy who works at the gas station in your neighborhood. I'll kill the fuck. No, you won't. You're just gonna send him a message, for now. Let him know who he's fucking with. He ends up in a wheelchair, fine. But don't kill the guy. That's it we don't need. Got it? Yeah, I got it. You better. Come by the bar when you're done. Fuck! Ah, damn it. Where the fuck are my pants? Hey, you wanna argue with the boss, Henry? Huh? I didn't think so. Just worry about that leg of yours. All right, I'll see you. Well? It's done. All right, good job. So, uh, what's happening with Vito? We got him the best lawyer in town. He'll be out in no time. For your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Shit! Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clemente. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the Feds knew and about I any of my other activities. Be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta. 
for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country. This court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. Fuck! What the hell? You said he was gonna get off. First of all, lower your fucking voice. Second, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Not now. Go home and cool off. And come back in the morning, you understand? Yeah, whatever. Dumb son of a bitch. Uh, who the hell is this now? Yeah, Joe, listen to me. Henry, you hear what happened to Fido? That little cocksucker said he was gonna take care of everything, and then Joe, he goes... Joe, you shut your mouth and listen to me? Look, I'm sorry about Vito. There was nothing I can do. But you gotta listen. You just made Lucas hit list. What's that supposed to mean? It means they're gonna kill you. That's how it happens, Joe. You must have pissed them off good. You probably got about five minutes before the guys show up. Yeah? Let them come. What the hell do I care? Oh, what are you gonna do, tough guy? Kill him? And then what do you think's gonna happen tomorrow? Look, you got two choices. You can either skip town, or you can stay and die. And hey, Joe, what you did for me at the distillery, we're even now. Damn, it's good to have you home. I done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. He really felt bad about what happened, you know. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. Let's go, move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. I haven't seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. Who the hell is that? Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought, uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. So, uh, how's life? Do you mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you two were in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, 
Yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucker mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Wherever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. Man, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right. A guy I know who worked for Clementi called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clementi's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clementi. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> uh, he is? <laughs> All right, go get him then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now take a seat, Henry. So. Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing him himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going then. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya.
Leo! Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shove Leo, this Leo, up put here. it away! It's me, Vito! Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, us. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with Okay, you? so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking for Christ's sake, get dressed and let's go! Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage? They don't know we're expecting them. I can't do that. I know the guy, I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late, they're here. Oh shit, Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Hmm, maybe we can fit in here. You gone nuts? What, the both of us? I ain't no queer. I ain't gonna lock myself in a cabin. Come on, with just get in there, Leo. We don't have time. <laughs> Hey, don't stand so close. You move over. No, you move over. Shh, shut up. Hey, that better be your gun. Shut up! Oh, uh. What the hell? Hey, Henry. Vito? This your friend? No, he just wants to hang up his jacket. All right, come on, come on, get out of there. It's about damn time you came out of the closet. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know he was going to put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You got to understand. Yeah, but you got to understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Rito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Vito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. one pal what hey kid Leo you want a drink what the hell happened your friend and I made a deal I'm gonna disappear there's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed and I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway my house burned to the ground along with almost every penny I had there was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Henry, 
Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. Hey, here he comes. Hey! What's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research at the Carlos business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Cause, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcon? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand the cut. Alright, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you gonna buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for? 110. Nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark, the Yid over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an hour. Of course, Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news, they kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito. It'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you run us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Henry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? No shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. All right, stop right here, Vito. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Hiya, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand in $20 bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, 
Why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a sure thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. It's a bit steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by $10,000 every week. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. Nice job, Henry. Of course. I told you to give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same quote. I go to church on Sunday, so I ask the priest one time. You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. They use big words, there's no hookers, and the fool's lousy. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Jeez, I ain't been there since... 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's school. Ah, uh, God rest his soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, that ain't too bad. 1941. I take that back then. You're going straight to hell. What, you just figuring that out now? Don't worry, I'll save seats for the both these. You know, I heard about a long shot named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah? What'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos Joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess how that happened? I heard he owed a lot of money to some yid from Southport. Get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, though. Crab's a moron. Nothing like that's gonna happen to us. All right, we're almost there. Drive through the gate and into the yard. Follow me, fellas, and let me do all the talking. Hey, we got some business with your boss. Follow me, gentlemen. Mr. Wong is expecting you.
Welcome, Henry. Hello, Mr. Wang. Let us get straight to business. Is your suitcase heavy enough? See for yourself. Yo, Da, this is a bank of 20 yuan Chinese money. It's worth about 35,000 yuan. All right, take it away and bring the goods. You're a good man, Henry. Here is your merchandise. Each bag contains one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? Okay, we're good. I'm glad. Next time, we can give you twice the amount. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wang. The pleasure was all mine. Knock it off. See how easy that was. Get back in the car. All right, fellas, the hard part's over. Now we just gotta make the exchange and we're done. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Hunters, I got it all lined up. Hello, gentlemen. Fucking set I think up. you have something for us. Drop the suitcases. Hmm. Nice shoes. Wait a minute, these guys ain't cops? Kill the bastard! Shoot Vito! Vito, watch our back! Ah. Here comes more of them! Hold on. I got them. Bing. Nice! But there's still too many of them. Come on! Oh, shit! Can't go back that way! Run! Stay away from these windows, fellas. Stand! Vito, no sense stay staying down. up here. Let's get down there. Vito! Kick the door in! What the fuck was that, Henry? No idea. Somebody else must have known about the deal. Those definitely weren't real cops. Maybe it was the chinks trying to fuck us. I doubt it. Look, I'll figure it out. But first, we gotta unload this stuff. Vito, take us to the old warehouse in Hunters. Alright. Hope this deal goes better than the last one. It will. Not like it can go any worse, right? So who are we selling the stuff to? Uh, a bunch of different guys. Oh, whoa, whoa. What do you mean a bunch of different guys? A bunch of different guys. What did all that shooting back there make you deaf? I thought you said we were just moving this garbage from one place to another. Yeah, well, you make a lot more money if you sell it in smaller amounts. Would have been really nice to know before I agreed to go in on this. If I did, from the way you were talking back in the park, you probably wouldn't have. Yeah, exactly. Hey, the best you could hope for right now is to spend the next 30 years of your life breaking your ass for Eddie and Colin before you either get bumped off or end up back in the camp. The only time you're ever gonna see cash like this is if you stick your neck out. Besides, I ever steer you wrong? Well, there was the OPA job. And that time we almost got killed when we whacked that fat fucking Sand Island. All right, all right, enough. None of that matters after today. Let's just get the Hunters. And don't worry, we're never gonna have to see these scumbags again after today. Unless this turns into a regular thing for us. Well, all right, let's just concentrate on getting through this one before we go making plans like that, all right? Hey, I'm just saying. Vito's right. Let's just get through the rest of the day. After that, smooth sailing, fellas. Here we are. Let me do the talking. These are tough guys, so no wise-ass comments. All right, Joe? Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, man. Come on in. Oh, fuck. 
<coughs> we did it! We hit the jackpot! Hey, 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 take it easy. We're not done yet. Lighten up, will you, Henry? What's the matter? All of a sudden, money don't make you happy? After we pay back Bruno and you get your cut, then you could be happy. All right, all right. Barbaro's Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal, and he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? Sixty grand. Fuck, how much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe, we gotta go. What for? Now, Joe. I'll tell you on the way. All right. Girls, lock up when you leave. Me and Vito got business. So what the hell's going on? That was Henry on the phone. Carlo found out about the deal. Ah, shit! Does he know he was involved? I don't think so. Let's talk about it in the car. Where are we headed? Lincoln Park. We meeting Henry there? Yeah. All right, so what did Henry say on the phone? He okay? He sounded okay. But Carlo took his car to the tank. Fuck. Just like Henry said he'd do if he found out. Yeah, but now the problem is, we don't even got enough to pay Bruno back. Ah, shit. What the hell are we gonna do? I don't know. Figure it out when we get to the park. Yeah, Henry will know what to do. Henry's different these days. The guy's got a real... What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? Shit, that's Henry! What the fuck are they hitting him with? Oh, Fuck! Who the fuck does something like this, Vito? Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? Who do you think? God damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Yeah, the money's gone too. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. Cops will take care of him. Hey. hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong. Of all the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. 
wall at him. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? We gotta do this smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're in, asking to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not going to go in guns blazing as usual. We got to do this the smart way. All right? Fun. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry, so we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. Sorry, gentlemen, this place for member only. Here's your fucking membership. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You've seen what they've done to Henry. You're dead, you slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? What the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What, what? the fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What? Where the hell is it then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Find your choice! Are you crazy? What you wanna do, let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. This deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Tongs. And if they think Carlos sent us, I don't mean war. We're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. Call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some... complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attacked them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, 
You're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money? <laughs> your father? Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure. Mr. Scaletta, can you get in, please? Hey, old man, what are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. And you are... This is our friend, Mr. Chu. All right, so what the hell's going on? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead. Half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead. And now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown. That was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. That's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. I called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. It was all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> when? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know, something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. Wow, look who it is. This is who they send? This is an insult. What'd they tell you, Vito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? You really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? I could ask you the same question. Loyalty's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. Didn't your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> you're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize Joe, that? Joe, you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? All those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. You vouch for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now, you dumb fuck, you're gonna pay for it. Now, Joe. Hey. If you're gonna pull that trigger, do it already. What are you waiting for? Vito. Let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked about, tree. Joe. You're gonna throw One. all that away? Do it! Two. Now! You know something, Carlo? For the last 10 years, all I'd done was kill. I killed for my country. I killed for my family. I killed anybody that got in my way. But this one... This one's for me. Fuck. Fucking prick. What the hell is this? It's alright, Joe. 
Is it done? It's done. All right, then. Looks like a celebration is in order. Come on. Let's head to the cat house. Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. All right, we'll see you over there. All right. So what's the big secret? Hey, hey, what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. On the breeze, Act One B.